Hi guys, it's me Ronnie and welcome to our Sailor Scout video. So this week I'm doing Sailor Uranus and she was one of the first outer senshi to appear and she was known as her alter ego which is Haruka Tenno and she was actually in a relationship with Sailor Neptune aka I think her name her American name was Michelle I can't even remember what her Japanese name is so forgive me and what's actually funny is that in the American version they switched out being lesbians for cousins even though you could slice like the sexual tension in there they're like oh we're just cousins I guess back in the day America couldn't deal with homosexuality and Luckily, since we're in 2014, we have come a long way even accepting homosexuality and accepting people for who they love. So, awesome for us in progress, but we still got a long way to go. But hopefully, you'll like this look. As you can see, it's yellow, white, and blue, and I did a new lip. And if you'd like to learn how to do this look, stick tuned, and I will definitely show you. Okay, so obviously the first thing we need to go ahead and do is prime our eyelids. So I am taking Corpse Cosmetics first, and this is Blank Canvas, the eye primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my own finger to just dab that all over my eye. And I'm going to go all the way up to my brow bone, just so we can go ahead and cover the whole eyelid and have a nice even base to work on. So once I go ahead and I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX shadow eyeshadow base and this is in white pearl. And I'm using a little brush that I got with a hip pigment a long time ago can't even tell you what shade it came with. So I'm just going to go ahead and evenly spread that out as well to the brow bone. Sorry, I forgot one really important part. Next, what you want to go ahead and do is take some scotch tape and go ahead and put that at the corner of your eye so you can get a nice clean edge. Okay. Now I am going to go ahead and take a flat brush and using Corpse Cosmetics Sailor Scentsy line and the color is Moon. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my inner corner here. And I'm just going to dab it on so that way I get more of a color payoff. Okay. And you can go as, you can put as much product as you want. I really like bright colors, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of product here. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure you tap off the excess, that way you don't get any flyaways. And I'm just going to work this up to the brow bone, like in this section, up to the brow bone. Uh, so, okay. And once I do that, and I'm satisfied with how the color looks, I like to do this step, which I'm going to do with each color. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Therefore, I don't get as much harshness. And I don't get as many harsh lines in here. Okay, 
and it's very important to go ahead and match make sure that the eyes you know each one seems to have the same amount of eyeshadow pigment you don't want one eye to be lighter than the other so once you go ahead and do that I will be taking the Corpse Cosmetics Uranus color from the Sailor Senshi line and I'm using the same brush it's okay go ahead and I'm going to do that from the brow bone down to the, down the eyelid And I do it in a patting motion, and sometimes I like to just swipe it down to help spread it a little bit easier. But if you really want the color payout, just go ahead and tap it on the lid. Alright, and to erase the harsh line between the white and the yellow, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly spread the white out. We'll come back and do that. All right, now that we're done with blending the white and yellow together, we're going to go ahead and I'm taking uh, the Sailor Senshi line from Co uh, Corpse Cosmetics in Mercury, and I'm going to go ahead and take the same flat brush, and I'm just going to dip the top tip of my brush and make sure I tap away the excess, therefore not getting any extra stuff on my face and getting the hair out of my face as well and I'm just gonna go ahead and go trace up against the tape so essentially I'm going to be going like this and then I'm going to be forming an angle up here and I'm just gonna start filling in with color and again as as however dark you want it just go ahead and add the pigment I'm also going to add some to my eyelid in the corner here and work your way up to the brow bone color in and add as much blue as you want Just make sure that you have like a, have it evenly spread out, kind of forming a line, but at the same time not, if I'm explaining myself well. <laughs> if not, just watch what I do and you'll understand. Okay, when you're happy with how the color looks and how it's spread out, you can go ahead and get your fluffy brush and start blending the color. And to be honest, it may take you a while in being happy on how to blend out, how you know, how much you want to blend the color out and, you know, make sure that it matches your other eye. You want to make sure they don't have to be perfectly even but at the same time you want them to look uniform well not uniform but nice and you know similar. Okay. And once you're happy with how it turned out I want to go ahead and blend the blue out a little bit more and just make sure that the intensity matches on each of the eyes so you don't want one eye looking darker than the other which is kind of what's happening with this eye and just go ahead I like to take my finger and kind of take some of the product off and when 
whenever you're ready, just go ahead and do your liner. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner for the top lid. So I am using the L'Oreal Palace, Paris Palace, I can't talk, <laughs> 12 Hour Infallible, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in black. And it's actually really cool because it comes with a really thin tip. I don't know if you can really see it. But it makes it really easy to do a thin line or even build up to a thicker line if you wish. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start tracing the line. Kind of doing an outline of what I want. And fix it up if you're seeing that the line is getting too thick. Okay. Go ahead and touch up the other side. At least that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Because it looks like it's fading a little bit. Okay. Now, usually after that, I would say go ahead and curl your lashes, but since this is a liquid eyeliner, you have to go ahead and give it some time to dry. And what I'm going to go ahead and do while that's drying is I'm going to take my angled brush and the Sailor Senshi Moon Color, and I'm going to go ahead and swipe that underneath my eye to give it a little bit more color in the corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Mercury and just finish that up. Okay. Yep. And once you do that, in order to diffuse the harshness, just go ahead and take your fluffy brush and just run that through a couple of times. And very, very carefully, just go ahead and take the eyeliner and you can go ahead and Trace the lower lash line if you like. And make sure you don't do too thick of a line here because if you do it too thick, it kind of makes you start looking like a raccoon. And don't be afraid of messing up with this part because you can always take a Q-tip, dip it in your makeup remover and clean up the edges. All right, and we'll be back to do the eyelashes. Okay, now that we've had ample amount of time for my liquid eyeliner to dry, I'm going to go ahead and take my Fancy Dancy eyelash curler, and I'm going to go ahead and start curling my eyelashes. And it may take you a couple of tries to get your eyelashes to curl. And that's okay. Go ahead and I always recommend doing your lashes in sections. Getting maximum results that way. Because if you try to do all of them, it's just going to drive you crazy. At least that's my opinion. And remember to also get your corner lashes because you don't want to go ahead and that will also attribute to a smaller droopy looking eye okay and just to warn you like it does to me some of the product may wear rub off on your eyelash curler so feel free to touch up as much as you want as I am doing right now Okay, and once 
is to my liking once more. I'm going to go ahead and use my very favorite voluminous butterfly waterproof mascara from L'Oreal in blackest black. So that's much darker than black. And I just love the way that the brush is. It really helps to make my eyelashes thicker and give me more volume. And I'm going to be generous with how much product I am applying, therefore helping with the payout. And to tell you the truth, this mascara I really like because it doesn't give me that clumpy look that most mascaras do. I think it is attributed not only to the formula of the you know the butterfly product itself but I think the brush really helps in that way too and it really helps in getting individual lashes as well and I can always comb through you know with this brush later once I get as much product as I want okay and then don't forget to get your bottom lashes as well because your look won't be complete without doing the bottom lashes. Okay. And then to finish off the eyes, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm using my NYX Jumble Eye Pencil in Milk. And in order to achieve a big anime eye. I'm going to go ahead and run this through my waterline here. Just be careful in applying it because you don't want to poke your eye out. Unless you want to. Then you can be a pirate. And that would be awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be back with the lips. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is obviously the lips. I, while I was doing my foundation and contouring, I went ahead and I moisturized my lips with my Vaseline jelly for the lip treatment. And now to do my lips, I am actually going to do a nude color because I want my eyes to be the bold statement and be what, you know, really brings attention to my face. So I am using Ramel's 642 Moisture Renew in This Is New Delight. And I'm just going to go ahead and just apply that all over my lips. And if you want, feel free to use a makeup brush in order to apply it. And make sure you get your corners because you don't want the corners to be sans lipstick. And once you do that, you're completely done. And go ahead and tell me in the comments whether or not you really like this look. If you love it, hate it, or what you would do in order to improve the look. I'm on Instagram.com and I'm also on Facebook. Both of those are The Beauty Within 1987. On Twitter, I am Beauty With 1987. So I don't have the in from within because it just was too long. And go ahead and if you really want to stick through me, you know, stick with me through this journey on YouTube as I make more videos and hopefully continue to grow, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like the video and share it with your friends and family. And hopefully, you know, you'll stick around and we can grow together and become one. Well, not one. We'll just... We'll just be like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to go ahead and w watch Kimmy Toxics. I'm actually, it's toxic, but I wanted to say t Kimmy Toxics video because she's awesome and you'll really like the look of the Sailor Scout she's doing. She's doing Mini Moon, a.k.a. Chibi Moon, and who doesn't love Rini or... Lady Rini, I can't even remember what her Japanese name is. I am getting old. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and remember, the beauty is always within. Bye, guys.